Welcome to 91 Reasons, a pop culture fueled rocket into the far reaches of nerd culture. Featuring your hosts, Jeff, Rachel, Luna, Austin, and Josie, it's Tucker time. All right, folks, we made it to Quarantine's Giving. It is Thursday, April 9th, day 25 of the shutdown, and we're celebrating Quarantine's Giving here. We had a full turkey dinner. There is the uh, the board, and if you watched the show that we put up today, which was of yesterday, no, how does that count? If you watched yesterday's show, you might have seen Rachel cutting her hair, so we added it to the board. There it is. What's left of Rachel's hair that she cut off. And we're going to go directly to Rachel now to find out how her hair is holding up. Hi! Oh my god, I'm so excited because turkeys are one of my favorite animals. My favorites are sharks, turkeys, and penguins. I brought a doll today. Look, do it on my dolly. Do it on my dolly. This is Ivy. She's my mini-me. Uh, I love her so much. She's currently dressed up for Easter. Honey, get a good look at that. Can I see it? Can yeah, I sure can. Looks just like you. I'm just, I'm so excited today. I didn't have to work today. I didn't have to deal with those horrible college students. I'm just, oh, I'm so happy. Best okay, holiday. let's go to uh, Grandma Tucker here. What'd you think of that? I would never call my students horrible. But you did nail me, and you did remember shark, turkey, penguin, so I am impressed. You did very good. Thank you. Very, very good. But, you know, there's only one original, sweetie. You don't worry. All little girls grow up to be their mothers. Don't worry. You put your hair in a bag and put it on the board. <laughs> and someday you shall, too. Oh, yeah, look. Isn't it pretty? Look, oh, well, you have to come in close to my outfit today, okay? Let's do oh, my outfit. God. Did I not just nail it? Did I not just nail that? It's Thanksgiving, so I have all my Thanksgiving God, I love turkey being necklace the best. that I made. Oh, I have on turkey socks. And, oh, I got my hair done. Look at my earrings, my little idol. Wait, we have to zoom in on the earrings. Cindy Lauper. I just love Cindy Lauper. Oh, my God, she's my idol. When I was a 15-year-old girl, I wanted to be just like her. Truth. You even nailed the right age. Yes. Look at my dolly. She's even ready for Thanksgiving. This is Carmen. She's a truly me. And she is all ready for the holiday today. How was your turkey dinner? Oh my god, it was so good. But I'm gonna be honest, I ate way too much. So typical Thanksgiving. Yes, but don't worry, I'll recover in a couple hours and have dessert. We're celebrating the day that the pilgrims got COVID-19 and put on masks and stayed seven feet apart from each other on that first Thanksgiving. Did I not nail her though? Like, she even did the come in clothes. So we want to you show you, me, like you live with me we did arts and crafts today. We did arts There's and crafts our Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Happy Q giving is what it says. And as you can see, the turkey is wearing a mask. Here's mine. And Luna did her turkey hand. There's nothing on that paper. Yeah. He never joined us. He kept yelling for him to join us. No, no. Did you want to show off the turkey hands? Yeah, but we have to explain what turkey hands are. Okay, like let me come over here and I'll... old school friends see this every year for the last... 20 years on Facebook. Show them some old ones. So they know Show what we do. Days. But some of you are newbies to our family. So we have traditions. We have traditions for every holiday because we haven't picked <clears> up on it yet. Tradition. I'm a holiday gal. I love them. Every holiday I celebrate them. So Thanksgiving, we do turkey hands. So this is our turkey hand book. And this is the whole family. It's been around since I was like 0.5 months. <laughs> Even younger. You'll see. So as you can see, it started with Luna. In November of 2000, I decided, how oh, November of 2000, 20 years ago, I decided every year we were going to draw hands and each kid I continue to have would do the same thing. So this is 20 years of Luke, can you see, doing turkey hands. And it's really funny because you can see his coloring. Get not, no, it doesn't get better. Well, Luna was never the artistic one. It does the eventually. The handwriting gets worse, actually. I'm on. artistic. Here. It's not in physical form. At 13, computer. you started getting better, Luna. This was the fun year. This was a president election, so the kids all did a patriotic theme. But you'll see as we continue. And being the youngest sibling, I just oh. did whatever they did. And then as they started to turn teenagers, yes, I still make them do it. So if you live in my home, you're doing this. Um, so, they, so you started seeing, like, their, I don't know, things they were into, their fandoms come alive. See, pink flag coming out. Luna's whole life is like right here. 
Hussy. Who are these people? Wait, let me think. Is that is that Vinny? No. I don't know, Hold Luna. It Hold it up. Who are these people? Yeah, Vine Sauce. Oh, yeah, Vine Sauce. I should have known there was a big V. Okay, moving on. So, yeah, and then it's going to start over here with uh, Austin. Austin. Mine looks amazing. Let's get a close-up on that. Yeah, yeah, coloring's great there. Austin's don't get good until he's about, like, 16. Oh. Um. Well, let's find out. Red was Austin's <laughs> favorite color when he was little. You can probably tell from that. He used red a lot. Now it's, like, blue, right? Yeah, oh. He's changed to blue, but yeah. for like he's three a years blue in a row, man. He was red. Here's I his patriotic year. These are so fun, and you get to watch how their hands got bigger. This was one of my favorites. Boba Fett. Yeah, that was a good one. You started getting creative. Look at the lightsaber fingers. That's from Disney. Bot. Yeah. That yeah. was on the day. Day of. Oh, there you go. Yeah, even you had a Homestuck fan. But yeah. yours, yours like ended quickly. I didn't know that you Oh, two years two of years. Homestuck. Luckily, the next one, too. No, and this is Undertale. It counts. Yeah. No, it does not. And then I like Undertale. Oh, this was a great year. Yeah, yeah. This is the year <laughs> famous people died. He, so he, he did like Prince and did Bowie I tell you? and uh, they Willy Wonka. Me. Oh my Who's God. this one? Oh, Snape. They all they, died that year. They all that died year. that year. Yep. He, he did art. I got tattoos. Well, okay, this <laughs> this is the first one I drew. Since I started drawing in my notebook, because I started it late 2015 doing daily drawings. That's when I took my notebook to school and started doing all work. Is it Claire bad? So you'll notice from that point forward, there's more effort. Mine don't do Oh, yeah, look at this, this one. Year. Yeah, I got split You can tell he discovered art. Whoa. I like the colors in that one. Yeah. Very fall aesthetic. Very going. fall aesthetic, I know. And Josie's oh, you skip, you skip the target. Oh. Yeah. Oh, last year's. Because he was working at Target by then. Okay, Josie's very first one ever. She was only two months old. So it's colored good because I colored it. I just took her hand and laid it down and colored it for her. She didn't, wasn't able to do her own yet. She still wasn't. This is where hers start. Can you tell? I was so talented. You were so talented. Look at that. Wow. I don't know what you were doing that year. I was so talented. Okay, now you start getting good, right? No. Well, I mean, you start saying there's the one where I get so emo, like it's like Nirvana logos on the. Mm, you're gonna get to it your very face. soon. This is your patriotic one. What does the fox say? Oh, you were so into that song. I'm so cool. Oh, Josie. Ew, no. Okay, wait, wait, faster, you missed one. Faster, you missed faster. One. Oh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I, you well, you so guys into were into Homestuck. I was watching Markiplier and watching Five Truth. Nights at Freddy's. What is this one you're embarrassed of, It's though? the YouTuber one. The Markiplier oh, one. Oh, that's Absolutely right. Wait, who not. were all your people? It was, it was the chick. Elsie Shadow Lady. Elsie Shadow Lady. And, her, and that was Robert IDK. I don't Look, remember says, what happened to I him. I love YouTube. Oh, it was so your age appropriate. Is that the year we went to um, VidCon? Oh, my God. I'm upside down, this so you have the, to help me out. This is the Stranger Things one. Yeah. Oh, Stranger Things. Upside thing. down. I Did can, she get that? Am, oh, upside down. <laughs> I am sad to say that if you put the first episode on, I know it word for word. Ooh, this the, one's that's the, good. That's the edgy one. That's, look, there's the Nirvana logo. But it was still colorful. It says dank memes. What are mornings for? Ugh, coffee and contemplation. Look at this one. This is This is last year's. Ooh, oh yeah, that's right. You did all the different musicals, huh? I like this. Finally, finally, I'm getting some. What will they do this year? Oh, well, we don't have to wait all the way, do we? Well, no, because we did them today. Because it's Thanksgiving. Who wants to go first? Uh, oh. I think you do. <clears throat> oh, okay. Let me dig. They want mine first. She'll give them mine first. Yours is the best, anyways. Oh, well, then it should be the last. Dad's first. Dad's is... Well, Dad didn't play the rules right, so it's going to be, like, upside down in the book. He did it weird. Okay, Dad, care to explain? Yeah, these are the uh, Marvel superheroes that I like. Absolutely not. <laughs> Liar. I think it's self-explanatory. Yeah. Except for the weird thing on the end here. What is that? Yeah, you know what? I didn't know that either, but I didn't want to, like, hurt his You don't know who Splinter either. is? Their master? Matt Splinter? Okay, first of all, Splinter's gray. He's a rat, because I love rats. The action figure's brown. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hold on. What well, color is Splinter? Like I got a rat. Is she going by the black and white comic? Hold on a second, let me. Hold on. Who like else would rat. it be? Like, they have a pet? I don't know. It, it doesn't look like a rat. Something? His ears needed to be more prominent. 
and round. Why are they and pointy? You, no, I'm getting photos of little splinters. Hold on a second. Austin's getting <laughs> pictures of people with splinters in their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Hey, do me a favor, that. Austin. Do not look up blue waffle. Thank you. Oh, it just depends on uh, which which version. That's the one I know. He's yeah. gray. Yeah, there's also a brown on the same page. Yeah. More gray there than <clears throat> brown. Okay, here you go, sweetie. Show yours. Uh, this is what I call my safety poster. They, She's taking they, all the knee off. It, it hurts. It physically... Those glasses genuinely gave me a migraine. Um, the necklace is great, though. Oh, God. Let me, you know, it genuinely gave me, me a migraine. Okay. Everybody just never looks so good or everybody, everybody, oh, everybody close point. your eyes. We're listening to um, a podcast. Obviously, don't close your eyes because you can't see me anyways. Imagine that you're walking into a doctor's office. You know, they always have posters up <clears throat> on the wall, right? Yes, posters. Okay. Well, I designed one today. It is what I like to call the safety violation poster. And it's easy for children to understand because it's a turkey hand. Um, as you can see... Uh, COVID is it is in the air. Get a little zoom in on that. You can open your eyes now in case you haven't realized. Um, I'm just going to point out all the things that this turkey's doing wrong, okay? Uh, don't be like him, number one. You can see that he doesn't have a mask on, <gasps> and he's out in the in the sun and the grass. Oh, my God. And he just, he's not wearing a mask. And as you can see, he's not six feet away from whoever's next to him. Arrest him. This is not okay. Don't be like him. He's probably I, on, I, his, on his I way to paddleboard. I school. So I can't go back to school if you're <clears> like <throat> this turkey. So don't be like him. Don't be a turkey. Don't be a turkey. Thank All you. All right. Good job. Did we get a pic of that? Isn't that adorable? Okay. Next is Austin. Yes. So so what I did here Turn is it over. A, uh, Explain it. I did a tribute to all of the grocery store workers working very hard. All right those now. essential workers. Yes. So we've got you know Albertsons, Walmart, Aldi's, Ralph's, and Target. And we surrounded by uh, toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah. Austin's out there working like a crazy man. He's got his eight-hour yes. shift tomorrow. Yes. So be Very kind busy. to he your essential to workers. Absolutely. He does get to leave the house. I'm slightly jealous. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I love all you close people walkers. You could up. dress up as him and go in. I could. I would, hey, say, all right. I would say, thank you much. So mine, keeping in the eye of the little theme of shaving theme. my head. Theme. And Cindy Lopper, I did turkeys just want to have fun. It's my Cindy Lopper turkey. I personally think I nailed her hair. You know the, the face she went through with the orange and the yellow? Nailed. Got her big earring, all her necklaces and bracelets. Yeah, total Cindy Lopper <clears throat> turkey. All right, so those are getting added to our book this year. But not as our year's turkey, right? Oh, no, in November we will pull it out. Okay, good, it because I didn't put a lot of effort this was in a it. Bonus. We're getting bonus holidays, right? We have to look at what this No, the Christmas you get next week is us. just Christmas. It's or a week after. Do we get presents, though? Yeah, we're going to go present oh, shopping. Yeah, oh, at essential God. stores. <laughs> You're getting toilet paper and sanitizer. I, I want Hershey Kisses. You might get that from the Easter Bunny, you know. All right, is it time for Austin's book review yes. or whatever oh, we've got today? I so, um... Uh, Yes, yes. This Let's full stop the book review. And I know throughout this whole thing, I've been doing these I think indie. He's like going to something different. Yeah, I these, got it. these indie underground comics. Time to mix things up a bit, right? How many days have we been through this? Got to mix I don't things know. up. Enough to so, where I try, I try to tune me out at this point. Have you read any of the comics I recommended to you yet? I read Dramacon. That's it, just Dramacon. Okay. You I don't have that. time anymore. All did I you do recommend schoolwork? Did you recommend Cherry Pop Tart? What's that? That's that adult comic about the wacky blonde woman. No. No? no. It wasn't you? I had no idea what that is. So we're going to be reviewing a book <sighs> today that isn't a comic book. Uh, we're also going to be reviewing other stuff. Things. You'll see. So today Hello? is a nice book called The Cabins of Minnesota. <laughs> I'm already falling asleep. I kind of like these nature books about, like... Wait, dream wait. house. It's fun to dream, Hold up. right? You're telling me that this is your first time doing something that's not um, a weird novel, and you're not doing the weird Pilgrims of Pennsylvania book? The one where it talks about the weird things in Pennsylvania? The Amish? I don't know, but this is great. No, 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 no. no, no, no. The, the book that's weird. The weird book. The weird one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, this, this is... This is not a fun I way to start off your this is, a cat, this is a good book. Horrible child. It's, Thank it, you. It's yeah. thundering outside. It's really coming down. And for a nice rainy Where's day, mine? this is a nice good book. It, it's it's just you know, it, it's just photos of different cabins in the state of Minnesota. I mean that's the whole book. There's this uh, 
a college professor talking about nature in between, and it's very pretentious, I won't lie. Very pretentious. But it, it, look at these photos. Look how beautiful, you know? Uh, Minnesota was kind of the, the first place I, I really wanted to travel to when I was really little. I, I kind of had a fascination with Minnesota because, because of the Mall of America. Minnesota had the Mall of America. And for those of you that don't know, Mall of America used to have a second Knott's Berry Farm theme park. And just the fact that there was another Knott's Berry Farm was just mind-blowing. Because Austin was obsessed. Yes. Like a second Knott's Berry Farm with all the same wives but different. I have to be there. <clears throat> but I never made it there and they closed it. And uh, Mall of America is kind of a shell of its former self, unfortunately. But... Uh, I still have a soft spot for Minnesota, and even if I don't move there, I, I want to move to a more cold northern state. Am I allowed to ask a question? Somewhere very snowy and cold. I mean, look, look how beautiful she is. Where, where is Minnesota? Up. Very up. Like, very cold. Really, really up. Very cold. I've never even... Is that a... Is that a I've never even heard it's of a state. Oh, it's okay. a state. Go to school, girl. Minnesota. Oh, I can't, actually. Like, you know where Chicago <laughs> is? In uh, Illinois? Yes, I know where Illinois is. Minnesota is like way above that. Like up by Canada. It's this. It's oh, the, you mean up? Yeah, it, it's the. It's, I, it's not the northernmost state, right? That's Maine. But it's pretty pretty cold and out of the way. Uh, I mean, look at these homes. I, I'm probably going to end up in, in like uh, Ohio or Michigan because Minnesota has a pretty high cost of living. It's a bit out of my reach. I thought but you were going to Wisconsin. Wisconsin, yeah. But it, it, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful state. It really is. Minnesota is just gorgeous. Uh, you know, some people dream of going to an island, right? Everyone wants to go to a tropical island or Hawaii. For me, it's like I just want to be somewhere cold, secluded, in a nice comfy cabin in flannel. That sounds amazing. No? Great. That's my fantasy. That, is that the end of your book review? Yeah, that's the end of my book review. Did you want to say uh, hello to somebody, Rachel? Yes, we have shout outs. Um, first, I would like to say thank you, Randy, for bringing me back to this world because I had a bad night and I had nightmares again all night and I was convinced that, you know, we were all dying. And Randy Montgomery, my little knots buddy, is amazing because he broke it down by percentage and cities, even to my own city, and showed me that the chance... Of me getting it is like insane or anyone in my family yes it's scary but so is the flu and everything else we've done with and this is just gonna be like that again someday too and i believe him go randy look at these cabins <laughs> cabin look at them wow wow oh my god i love the log ones like lincoln logs okay? i love that i have a special special feature today when all, all of you are ready it is. Oh, someone's calling. Someone's again. calling. Okay, the last time this happened, it was Joey Bryant outside our house. Who's calling? No, I. Yeah, now we're just starting again because the phone call interrupted the video. Oh, my accident's here. You're not going to do it. And you feel it is incorrect. Please contact that period. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? If there is a reason for your student being absent, please contact attendance at 714 626 3896. Please allow 24 hours for attendance to be Could cleared. you skip school tonight? Into the most favorite class. You, you I literally walked past you and said, I'm doing my theater assignment. Press 1 to opt out oh. of future messages like Bro. This. Are you sure it was period 3? Yeah, period, period 3, that's what it said. What are you interviewing today? Today in period, period three. Period, period three. Period, period three, which is theater. I, I have a special feature for today. I know Bro. she never missed that one. Can I do my feature? Did you make a slideshow? Yes. yes. Well, I just found Google Oh my images. god. Where are you interviewing? Uh, uh, today, I'll we'll go in. Room, it's nice. I'll wait till they finish. That would have been great. No. We can do dad's room. Hello? No. Can I go? Yeah, you can go You could go. We're not stopping okay. you. Okay. There's so background noise. Today, we're going to be reviewing all of the <laughs> chicken strips. I so I have an affinity I for chicken you strips. It's in theater. Is oh. Raising Cane's number one? <laughs> no. I, uh, let me just Didn't say, I have it. textual evidence. I texted my mother and I said, we hope you with the attendance question for theater. Yeah, she really did. I'm, we're just kidding. We know you didn't miss it. Okay, well, like, the school doesn't know. Well, okay, with... Like, the school's not going to just pass everybody this year anyways. With so many of you uh, having okay, takeouts, I, I think it will be informative 
you know, for me to tell you all. Oh, just get to it. Please, I swear, oh if this takes more than ten minutes, I'm going to whack you. I'm okay. no longer full and could actually deserve Okay, so, first up, Carl's <laughs> Jr. hand-breaded chicken okay. tenders. These are so what is this? good. Carl's Jr. But they changed their recipe. They did. The original recipe was really good, but I think the hand-breaded recipe is better. They switched it about ten years ago. No. Ten years ago? No, it wasn't ten Bro. years ago. Six years ago. To put this all the way and recipe. come back. How can they yeah. have changed it? You guys are aware we're trying to make a video, right? Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to go clean up because I think I have enough time to go do stuff and come back and he's still going to be talking about Would, chicken nuggets. Could you be making more noise or do I have to... I wear a lot of jewelry. Bangle bracelets I are my like thing. I kind of wear this, Mom. You it's clack... Like everywhere I go, so it's just like sitting next to me. You clack like Jacob Marley. I say that we... The sooner that we get this stupid thing done, the sooner Austin stops talking about chicken strips. So we should let him... Go. Okay, so, Dad, how do you feel about chicken strips? Uh... If there's nothing else to eat, I'll eat a chicken strip, but... No, no. I, I don't find chicken strips... You know, a go to. There's only one place I go to for chicken strips. What? Raising Raising Cane's. No, I would say. I like the sauce. I would say chicken strips are a destination. I would literally drink that sauce. And I I eat chicken strips dry. I don't put any sauce on them. Disgusting. No barbecue, no nothing. That's the whole point of a chicken strip. Raising Cane's. They're vehicles for sauce. Now, I wouldn't say Raising Cane's has the best chicken strips. Liar. What Sorry. Raising Cane's has is the best French fries and garlic bread. Their and French fries are so good, though. When you pair that with good chicken strips, you get a fantastic combo. Period! That's tough to beat. Okay, up next. I bet someone beats that. Okay, this is a bit of an obscure one. This... Are you, are you okay, Father? Yeah. Who's okay. this? I can't see. This is Freddy's. What the heck is a Freddy? Freddy's in <clears throat> uh, been Freddy Victorville. Before? Yeah. Way out Victorville in Las Vegas. And Vegas. Is that the place that had the amazing milkshake? Yes. Yes, we've we've been here before, and this place <laughs> is great. The chicken tenders, very good, restaurant quality, and the French fries are those thin shoestring fries. Oh, yeah, those are terrible. They're delicious. Bro. And they make for a great combo with chicken strips. Right, Mom? When we go to Mom? Vegas, we got to go to Freddy's. Oh, yes. Freddy's. Okay, what else we got? Okay, this is the McDonald's chicken tenders. They were introduced a couple of years Those ago. Those taste like uh, cafeteria food. No, I really like them. Um, it's McDonald's third take chicken strips. I liked the older take on chicken strips better, but they didn't last long, and they kept having shortages. So, I'd like to see them take on the club sandwich. McDonald's, you know, they, they ran Wait, away. Ma'am, could you make more noise over there, please? You know we're doing a show, right? Yeah, and? McDonald's ran away from chicken tenders for so long. When they finally embraced it, they produced something. I want someone to quote that one day. That was McDonald's good ran away from chicken tenders. Okay, next up, you got the Grizzly Creek Lodge chicken platter from Knott's Berry Farm. A personal Period. Fa- a personal <laughs> favorite of mine. These are so good. Uh, These I, I, fries taste like heaven on a platter. I truly do believe the Cedar Fail Company produces the best chicken tenders. Uh, you can get this at any Cedar Fail park if you've got any. You know what? What are the other parks? You walk there. Uh, Dorney. Dorney Park, Valley Fair. Just look at the uh, presentation. Michigan's Adventure. Look at the presentation. Yeah. Amazing. So you get three giant high quality chicken strips and so many fries. This is actually a dish you might want to share. And the barbecue get... sauce is always splendid. Very good. Very good. And it's on the meal okay. plan. Next up, Kentucky Fried Chicken. N- I completely... Th- these are not above the Knott's ones. These are chicken strips I am impartial to. I do not like these. So why are... Uh, Every Wait, time. is this going down? I, it's, it's just it's just a list. It's just a list. Okay, mm. <laughs> I thought it's, they were going up. Because I was going to okay. say, those are not better. It's for everyone getting takeout right now. And from your quarantine, right? Everyone's going through drive Don't food. get takeout, Kentucky not Fried not Chicken. Not just don't do chicken. it. Anyone who's getting food right now, it's an advisory guide, right? Kentucky Fried Chicken, you know when you open up the box uh, and like you can like feel the steam coming every, out of it? That's every, not a good thing. Every time I eat KFC, I get really ill. You guys are nuts. Like, Kentucky Fried Chicken is delicious. Like KFC, Absolutely not. I, something in those 11... The chicken strips are moist. There's something in those 11... Something in those 11 herbs and spices, man. You know what it does? It gives me the coronavirus. Oh, I kid you mind. not, last time I had He's KFC... Got KFC again. Last time I had KFC was the night before Comic-Con two years ago. I was actually going to talk about the arcade. We'll get there. Store. We'll get there. And I almost sat out of Comic-Con because I just had to lay in bed. I was so ill. <laughs> You're laughing, but... Well, you going to talk about the Arcade Expo? 
Yeah. You guys are okay. so I'm ridiculous. Talk about it. Okay, talk, talk, talk about the Arcade Expo. This happened twice. So the this arca- happened twice. The Arcade Expo, the closest fast food restaurant to it is you guys. No, wait, it. The, a little bit of setup. The Arcade Expo is way out in Banning, California. You don't need set up. You just it's need to a, get to the point. Anyways, it's like a great gaming con. It's in the middle of nowhere, so the closest fast food it's restaurant just a KFC. is a yeah. KFC. So Austin was like, well, I have to eat it because I want to go back inside and, you know, play some more games yep. or play some more Mario. So he buys he buys the chicken, he eats the chicken, he goes he goes into the games. And I, this place is head to toe in um, arcade machines and loud, loud noises. And yeah, I was going to have some fun. And if you have had the 11 herbs and spices and now you are going to subject yourself to... Dance, arcade dance games that dance, make your eyes revolution. hurt. Um, you know, so he vomited, and then... He, he did. He, he vomited, and he went right back to playing video then games. he I, just I, turned to his father, and he, like, you I know, said, I vomited. I said, yeah. And then he went back to Dance Dance Revolution. I Now, for those panicking, I washed my hands. Don't worry. I washed up. But no, I did, I did play Dance Dance Revolution... Again. Vomited all of the KFC. Now, don't forget then about the do- dance, dance, the dollar it. surcharge. Well, um, oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Talk about that. Kentucky Fried Chicken had a dollar surcharge unless you were using cash or a credit card. Yes. So it was only on... Checks? Uh, EBT. EBT. But they also had, and that one, one of the rare KFC buffets. Uh, yes, they did, in the little bucket seats. Yes, which we didn't, we didn't do. We just... Got meals and got out of there. Okay, up next is Jack in the Box. I love these. They're very good. They're very these pricey. These are so good. They're not cheap. Okay, but it's worth it, though. Uh, these are probably the most expensive chicken tendos on this list. Jack in the Box barbecue sauce is heavenly. They, they won for about $9. They were the best fries. They, they have a chicken tendo kids meal that you do not get a lot in. You no, get you like get two. two. But there's... But they're so good. But you, uh, you know, they're very they're thin They're not filling. Strips. They're not yeah. filling at all. The it's thin a snack, strips. but they're very good. They're very crunchy. They're like a chip. They're really good, but you don't get enough. You don't get enough. So you gotta have dessert with it or something. You know, when someone's like, hey, I'll treat you to lunch. Where do you want to go? Okay. You should say Jack of the Box. Oh my god. The Burger King the... chicken strips. Disgusting. These were so good. These were some of the best chicken strips <gasps> on the market. He's saying strips, not tenders. There's a difference. Let me make, Is a... there? Let me make one thing clear here. Why are you talking about... Chicken nuggets or strips? Chicken tenders. None of these are nuggets. These are all tenders. All tenders, all right. Tenders. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, that's what I figured. Uh, the Burger King chicken tenders Nothing were from Burger good. King is good. You got a lot of them. They were cheap. And it was finally something I ate on the Burger King menu. Because I do not like Burger King. Number 15. Uh, Burger King foot lettuce. These, these came out right when I started going to college two years ago. So me and mom would Forgot go and that. get Burger King chicken strips every day after college. Didn't you once get busy in a Burger King bathroom? Humpty did. Humpty did. Um, All right, stop. What are you doing And then, now? you know what happened? Absolutely not. <clears throat> you know what happened? They got rid of them. They removed them off the menu a year ago. Maybe some and people were stepping on them. I'm With still, I'm still sad. I'm still bitter. Burger King, come on, bring them back. Come on. No, if they bring them back, that means we'd have to go to Burger King more, and I don't, I can't deal with that. Okay, next up, Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. They make tenders. They do. They do make chicken tenders. Uh, not good. Why do I not know this? <laughs> Overweighted. Because <laughs> you never order with us. You always run and sit at a table. Expensive. I just love the environment. Uh, expensive and not worth the money. This photo here is kind of deceiving. They're not that crispy. They're mostly meat. Their you little don't, nuggets you know. are better than those. Yeah, the nuggets are better. Uh, not How good. about we don't diss Chick Fil A in my presence? It's overweighted. Luna and I went to Chick Fil A a couple days ago. They handed us the bag, and I went to look at it, and I said, "They know what's good for us," so we just left. Do they let you <laughs> in the restaurant, or do they just hand you at the door? You go through the drive-through, man. There were three drive-through but, lanes. Uh, oh. Two that went to the restaurant. No, four, and two went to the restaurant, and two just went to the parking lot. We were in the parking lot. They brought the food out to us. Oh. The chicken wraps they have are very good. Those are good. Okay, next up is the worst. What's the worst chicken There's tender? There's nothing here. Get? The worst chicken so tender? I, I, I'm not going to show Del you. Taco? What? <laughs> that doesn't make any I sense. I don't chicken. I don't know, Denny's. Denny's isn't very good, no. Did any make any the chicken list? nugget that's shaped like a Oh, dinosaur. yeah, those are... Liar! These avoid, are good! Avoid at all costs. That's the big Dino no-no. nuggets? This, you know what this is? This will give you coronavirus. I was going to say the banquet 99 cent chicken this, tenders. This is worse. Mom used to. Because you know the banquet, the banquet chicken tenders, you get a brownie. 
That brownie, brownie is so lunch. good. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, I love that brownie. Mom would have to scoop out the mac and cheese though. What's my favorite? Yes, really she it. learned to do it when it was still yeah, frozen. But I if I pop it out while it's frozen, then you would have to look at it. The gooey part still in the container. <laughs> Disgusting. See, you know, honestly, I think that chicken for a long, a long if, time. If you're judging quality of the meal, it's Cane's because the flies and the bread and make for a great meal. But if you're going on just chicken strip alone, like just the strip, you if you say Burger King, I'll kill you. It's not Spelly Farm. It's Cedar Fair. The non chicken. The one switch. you can't get the at this one you moment. Can't get now, uh, McDonald's. I would recommend getting it. You know what I, I get? Like you're gonna. You're I gonna, would not. You're gonna hate this. Me, what? Uh, if I'm at work and I need something to eat and I don't want to get what the the meal of the day is, I get the chicken tenders, which are those exact tenders. With sour cream. Oh my god! And I dipped them in sour Ooh, that cream. Would give me heartburn. Everything gives me heartburn. So uh, what the heck? I might as well live. Can anyone in Nevada or the Hesperia Victorville area go get some Freddy's drive-through? Road trip. Just, just eat it for me and think of me while you eat it, because you know I get cravings for Freddy's all the time. All I want is a chocolate milkshake. And milk I can't have it, and it kills me. Sing Freddy, my love. I miss you more well, than yeah, words yeah. can say. So yeah, that's the chicken script. There's Luna. Jack in the Box, expensive but good. I also recommend this one. Are we not done yet? I'm just, I'm just redoing. Re- oh, okay. I've, I've talked about them all. All right, are you good? Because I'm gonna, good. Josie, yeah, anything Josie you want to add? Room. I just no. went in there and clean. Did you actually clean my and make bed and pick stuff up for four oh, boys? Oh so all right, God. we'll go there live. Go say, say, we're gonna go there live. Here's Josie. Okay, we're going I'm there Sherry live Ryder. from my bedroom. Josie Ryder. Here's Josie. Oh, here's Ryder. Not yet. I, do that in the I want room. you to throw it to her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're you're throwing. I'm, it. Oh, I'm throwing it to yes. myself. Oh. oh, I get it. <laughs> you get it now. <laughs> Here's Josie. Oh, writer. Whatever you want to use. Luna. Whatever day. Luna. Of the I need to. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Oh, we're going live from my bedroom. <laughs> oh yeah. boy. Yeah. Let's go to me, but a different so zone. You give yourself yeah. a shout out. Here's. Yeah. Like, I know, I know, I, she's seen the news. I know right. she knows how this works. So when someone's out in the field, they go, back to you, Mark. Oh, uh, back? But we haven't been there before. Uh, right. Okay, we're cutting here. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> we're going live to Ryder in her bedroom. Oh, my God. Thank you, past me. It's me, Ryder. Today, I am in my bedroom. We are at my crib today because we are running out of rooms in this house. Welcome to my my classroom. Do 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 do. I do this because I don't want to have to edit later. Super super cool. Okay, let's start over here. This is um what I call the top of my dresser, which is kind of where I make myself look less like a hobo, which is why there's so many things on here. Is that why the mirror's next to it? Yeah. See. That's your not look like a hobo area. Exactly. Got this it. is the guitar. I have not played this guitar in two years. But it looks very cool, so that's why I keep it here. I like the prints on the wall. Dusty. This was given to me by. Oh, yeah, Colleen gave you that. By, right? Yeah, by Colleen. It's a print of prints. I so said something. But if you had more than one of these, words. it would be prints. Haha, ha, that's that's very funny. Um. Anyways, this is my this is my Macbeth book. Very important. Yeah. He's, the cameraman's kicking things I'm over yellow, in my room. Yeah, we had him. This is cleaned all that. You know why I knocked it over? Why? You said Macbeth. This is not a theater. Oh, I, I beg to differ. There's a lot of drama in here. <laughs> Shut up. This is my Marvel shrine. Every single shelf, except for the last one, which is my, my bookshelf, is dedicated to Marvel. I've got my movies here in the order they came out in. Super cool. Uh, this is what I... He's going in on my bed. Okay. This is my Spider-Man shrine. And also, these are Marvel slimes. I don't use them because they're, like, gross. But they look really cool. So much McDonald's was eaten. I I mean so much McDonald's. Like, every day after school, I would eat from McDonald's to get to get Iron Man and Ant-Man. I, ne- I think that you brought Ant-Man home one day. I never got him. I got Iron Man, though. Uh, this is my... This is my my shield badge. The season is ne- the new season's never coming out. Um, this is used to be where I took all my selfies, cause selfie corner. It was a selfie corner, but now I don't have anywhere to put my phone to take the pictures. So now it's not the selfie corner anymore. It's just there. 
but that's you still use cool. that shelf. No, it doesn't hold it. It doesn't hold oh. it. I'm having trouble finding a new selfie spot in my room. This is my closet. It's super cool. I used to have way more clothes than this, but now I don't because I got rid of them all to go on a shopping spree. But I didn't do that because the COVIDcation started, so I couldn't. Uh, th those are all my Raggedy Ann's. Super oh. duper cool. My friend Brenda will like this section. Go slow for her. I love Raggedy Ann. And I used to have a lot more Beanie Babies, but I got rid of a lot of them because I needed more room for plants. They used to all have names. They were named after historical figures. All I know, all I remember is that this one is Thomas Jefferson, but I don't know about the other ones. My mom is trying to make my room look cooler than it is. I am. I'm trying to help you out here. She put the lights on. At nighttime. This is my wall of other things, like the ukuleles I haven't played in two years. Or, um... A lot went down two years ago. <laughs> two years ago, I she was... was musical. I was starting... No, theater. I was... <laughs> two years ago, I was starting middle school, and I didn't know what to do. So I pretended like I could play instruments for a while. That is Jughead Jones. I love him. That's that's the show that I did. The one show that got put up. Uh, that's Girl in the White Pinafore. It was very long. This is um, my bedside table. It's a mess. This is the friend wall. Anytime someone gives me something, I put it on the wall. And I mean anything. There are so many things on the wall. Don't go in on that picture of me. Show me I, on our wall to tease Show me. the picture of down to deer. Yeah. Really, really good. Really, really <laughs> fun. Uh, this is the Book of Mormon that you promised that one day, one day we will go see. Yeah. I know people who had tickets for that, and it was canceled. I don't want to talk about it. This is my bed. Normally, I don't have Luna on it, but today I seem to. Do you want to talk about that, Luna? He's following us around. Okay. I'm sleepy. Are you bringing a little bit of hobo back into this room? Yeah. We try to get the hobo out of the room. Look at the stuffed animal. I think that's the only section you ever done, right? And the stuffed animals? Okay. Can you explain the uh, Thanos head? Well, it was given to me by someone, so obviously it goes on she the wall. She killed him, skinned and trophied his head. For well, the friend wall. What did it cost? Everything. So this is this is the stuffed animal it's corner. It's price to pay for froggy um, chair. Th this is... This is my, my Lewis and Clark bear. Look at Nathaniel which, and leave like that four Lewis flowers. Or Clark? Look so sad it's on it's both. It's Lewis and Clark. It is probably one of my favorite bears. I don't know why. I just I like it. Did you know that Thomas Je fun Thomas Jefferson fact? Because I love Thomas Jefferson. Really fun, really funky guy to, to <laughs> research about. Um, Thomas Jefferson actually haggled to get the Louisiana Purchase. And he even went higher than his original goal. He was going to put 10000 on it. And then he was like, no, I'll put more if I can get it. Really funky dude. He also ate a tomato. I did it at, did it at the swap meet once with a Jurassic Park Lost World playset. <laughs> well, maybe you have a little bit of Thomas Jefferson you in, wrap your, it up, in your Can blood. you wrap it up right here so I can dim the lights and show all your pretty lights behind you? All right, let's wrap it up, folks. Get well, your I mean, toes, I'm just saying. Get your toes you out of the camera, us. Luna. This you is right my there. bedroom. No. So you see all the lights? I don't see lights in your camera shot yet. There you go. Look how pretty. Look at her pink ones up there. As always, my mother is trying to steal the show. Is I this becoming a reoccurring room. thing? It is. I am your host, Ryder Tucker. This has been MTV Cribs 91 Raisins Edition. Today it was my room. We're running out of rooms. Tomorrow it'll probably be the kitchen, but still pretty swaggy. <laughs> we ran out of bedrooms. <laughs> we ran out of rooms. So tomorrow will be the kitchen. It'll be super swaggy. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, back to you in the studio, me. Thank you, Josie. What a lovely on-the-spot thing you did in your room. Uh, but did you throw it to yourself? Because it's actually me that'll be getting it. So, uh, yeah, this is the part of the show where I stare at the camera for five minutes. Uh, you know what we didn't do during the Thanksgiving quarantines giving portions uh, was say what we were thankful for. And uh, I think it's pr pretty easy to I, you don't have to even think about this. I am thankful for Erin Gray as Wilma Daring. Look at that. There she is. So it's on MeTV. I've been watching and taping it every week. So it's very good. And how do you know I'm old? Because I say taping, even though there's no tape. Tonight, we're going to head out to Knott's Berry Farm and drive the perimeter 
Uh, the park's closed. You're not allowed inside. But they're turning all the attractions blue to honor our service people, our medical people who are saving lives every day. And we're going to uh, take a shot of that just because it's really uh, cool. And we, we live right down the street, so it's not a big deal to go head down there. Also, I wanted to talk about Bracket. Uh, I did a whole phone interview for an episode with my friend Robbie, and it didn't work. It didn't record for whatever reason. But Bracket is a new app you can get. Go to any app store, look up Bracket, B-R-A-C-K-I-T, Bracket, and it's a new game show where you have to dis- have to have to um, say what you think the guest of the show is going to say. Try to predict what they're going to say. So they'll give you a topic. And the re- I did a show where I talked about my favorite Star Wars characters. So you see all the characters, you make your own brackets, and then you watch the show, and you can play along on your phone. It's a really cool app. It's totally free. It's fun to play. My episode will air somewhere around May 4th for May the 4th Be With You. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I, it's a lot of jokes, a lot of goofing off. And then we actually play the game. So it's worth checking out. B-R-A-C-K-I-T, Bracket. And we were going to do a thing where we're going to talk about what's the first thing you're going to do when all of this is over. But I think we'll save that for another day because I wasn't counting on the uh, chicken strip marathon, which was fascinating. Rachel, did you appreciate the chicken strips? Um, yeah, I didn't leave the room. I don't know what you're talking about. I knew it would go on that long. I know Austin. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you're liking these. The one we put up today uh, was nearly an hour, and that's a rarity. But that Rachel cut her hair, so we had to record her cutting her hair because... That was like 11 o'clock after our regular... It only happens. Yeah, that was, that's way at the end of the night. Moment. And I'm like, oh, we have to record that. So uh, when we're, we're just trying to document all the little moments that happen, because at the end of this, we're going to move on. We are going to move on. We are going to get back to some semblance of normal. And our brain is probably going to block out a lot of this because they're not fun memories, you know? But It's like childbirth. You won't remember, right? Right. We've tried to make it fun, and we have these video diaries so that years from now, when one of our kids, fingers crossed, has grandkids... We'll be able to show it to them and which say, this, be? I, I really have no idea which, which of you three is ever going to have kids, uh, either by biological, adoptive, or black market. I have no idea how you're going to get them. Austin wants kids. He, his own? Yes. So you can, we'll be able to show him this. And that's really what it's for. So hope, hoping YouTube doesn't go under during the COVID-19 shutdown. It's time to get back to work, folks. Do we have any birthdays today we forgot? I don't know. No. Well, today is actually Cher's birthday, but this will air by tomorrow and it will be over. Yeah, we already did that's that. We did hers. Yes. So there's no one on the 10th? No, we don't have one coming up for a couple more days. The 10th is tomorrow. I think I missed a sister. My sister Martha had a birthday. Well, happy, happy birthday, birthday Martha. Martha. Don't go outside. Like, I care. Uh, I'm not a scolder. I don't care. Whatever you need to do, as long as you're not endangering yourself or other people, I really don't care. So do what you got to do. Stay happy. Uh, Tune in to this show and check out Living with Rona. And check out Back to the Future 2 on the Project 88 YouTube channel. That was a lot of fun. It's actually getting a lot of press. So I imagine they'll be doing another one of those at some point of either the first movie or the third movie or the cartoon, or the ride, or something. I have no idea. Anything you want to say before we end this? I'm excited to go see Knott's. Even we're gonna, though we're not getting out of the car, and we're not going in, we're just driving around the block, I'm excited to we're see We're going to get out of the house. It's going to be pretty. It'll be fun. Yep. I'll post pics. All right. We'll see you folks on the next episode of the Shutdown Diaries here on 91 Reasons.
I'm getting the footage. All right. Look at how cool it's bright blue. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da ya da ba dee da ba da. If you guys have free time in Disney Plus, you guys should go watch Iron Man 3. It's really good. How was your uh, quarantine's giving? Very nice. I'm very thankful. You ate a lot of food. I did. I ate a lot of food. I'm still kind of tired from all the food. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you tired. I guess it's good that I'm not getting up for Black Friday then. <laughs> That's what I would normally be doing after Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, we're getting up early and going away to get Coles just to see if they open. Yeah, I'm thinking. No? No. All right. Look at the shaved head. I know. It's so cool. It's so My hair's weird. all back though, so I look bald with that. But... You shaved your head. Yeah, Cindy Lauper, you know? I'm cool. Uh -huh. I can see bits of gray. I need to get a fun color. The gray is not working for me. <laughs> a fun color. Yeah. Um, I'm just <laughs> taking a quick vlog. Uh, my father is making a, um, a sign for Thanksgiving, on Easter for Thanksgiving, and my mom is hanging up her One and only birthday, card. birthday cards. Um, and I have spent the entire day watching Disney Plus because it's the best thing in existence. Any comments, mom? How's your day going? This is for you. It's going good. Oh, I look cute, like my thing. A clue. Just give yourself a clue. So I got messy hair. I shaved the side. Oh yeah. Can I kill it? Ew! It's gross. Anyways, um, good night.